a shortcut through the graveyard. Jake and Lisa had just finished their dinner at a nearby restaurant and decided to walk home instead of taking a cab. They were feeling tipsy and happy after sharing a bottle of wine and some laughs. They held hands and kissed as they strolled along the dark streets. They reached the old cemetery that was on their way home. The gate was locked, but there was a hole in the fence that they could squeeze through. Jake suggested that they take a shortcut through the graveyard, since it would save them some time and add some excitement to their night. Lisa agreed, feeling adventurous and curious. They entered the cemetery and walked among the tombstones and monuments. The mist was thick, and the moon was hidden behind the clouds. They could barely see anything, but they didn't mind. They joked about the ghosts and zombies that might be lurking around, trying to scare each other. Suddenly, Lisa noticed a faint light behind them. She turned around and saw a dark, shadowy figure holding a lantern. She gasped and pointed it out to Jake. Jake looked back and saw it too. He felt a chill run down his spine. Who's that? Lisa whispered. I don't know, Jake said. Maybe it's just a car passing by or something. They quickened their pace, hoping to reach the other side of the cemetery soon. But the figure seemed to follow them, getting closer and closer. They heard footsteps behind them, crunching on the dry leaves and gravel. They started to run, panic rising in their chests. They heard a low moan behind them, like someone in pain or sorrow. They felt a cold breeze on their necks, as if someone was breathing on them. They reached the end of the cemetery and saw another gate. It was also locked, but there was another hole in the fence that they could crawl through. They rushed towards it, hoping to escape from their pursuer. But before they could reach it, they heard a voice behind them. Hey! Stop right there! They turned around and saw a man wearing a uniform and holding a lantern. He looked angry and annoyed. What are you doing here? he shouted. Don't you know this cemetery is closed at night? Get out of here right now! Jake and Lisa felt relieved and embarrassed at the same time. They realized that the man was just a night worker who was patrolling the graveyard. He was not a ghost or a monster, but a human being who was doing his job. They apologized to him and explained that they were just taking a shortcut home. They crawled through the hole in the fence and left the cemetery as fast as they could. They laughed nervously as they walked away, <laughs> feeling silly and foolish for being scared of nothing. They hugged each other and kissed, glad that they were safe and together. They decided to never take a shortcut through the graveyard again.